I'm Donna with Kilobytes, and I was asked to make something that I um, comes from my background, and I grew up eating a lot of pasties. Pasties were something that we all loved to come home to when my mom would make. And um, after I got married, I started to make them out of my house. People would come and pick them up, um, take them and freeze them. Um, and yeah, so I've been making them for many years now, and I'm very nervous if you can't tell. <laughs> Never been on camera doing this, but, um, but yeah, so here we are. So I'm going to start off with the crust, and we're going to, I have a food processor here. You can use a food processor or a hand mixer, like a KitchenAid or a bowl, and cut it in with a, say, a cutter. But today we're going to do a food processor. So I have flour and salt. And this was three cups of flour and three quarters teaspoon of fine salt. And we're going to blend that together. And this recipe is going to make six large pasties, about one cup each. So now I'm going to add our cold butter which I cut up into, say, little pieces like this. Let me just toss that in. And we'll pulse it for, say, um, maybe five to seven pulses until the butter becomes size of small piece. of solid vegetable shortening that is cold. I'll just add that and then we'll continue to pulse until it becomes fine like cornmeal. I got this recipe from one of a, a lady I babysitting her kids and she does it in a, a mixer with just mixes it together with a paddle. So now I'm going to mix together the egg yolks. There's three egg yolks and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Grab the spatula. One tablespoon of lemon juice and about half a cup of, or seven and a half tablespoons of water, ice cold water, and we'll just mix that together. And then we'll dump it in. So this looks like, I'll say if you can't tell, it's, yeah, fine, fine corn. Cornmeal. You don't want big chunks bigger than a, a size of a pea. I'm going to dump this in. And then I will pulse it together until it comes together. Sometimes I dump it into another bowl and gently mix it, but for speed's sake, we're just going to do this. Divide it into six balls. Six portions. One thing I didn't say is you can sub the who I got the recipe from, she uses margarine instead of the butter and shortening 
or I'm sorry, and then butter in place of the shortening. And that works as well. Sometimes I do a third of each. So we're going to divide this into about six portions. I usually do about four ounces each. And then we're just going to chill them onto, make it a little ball like this, and then I'll put them in the fridge and chill them for about 30 minutes. I like to cover them. And here we are with three, um, I saved some cold dough here from um, yesterday, I made last night. I'm going to get some flour. And you actually can roll the dough out straight out of the mixer, but I just prefer to work with cold dough. So I just take a little flour and roll it into a, probably about an eight inch want to be able to fit one mounded cup of filling on it so you want it pretty pretty big and this is a nice size I'm going to put them on this tray and then I'll we'll make the filling after that and um, and then we'll pull these back out of the fridge so I think you got that. I just rolled it like that. So now we'll move on to the filling. Here we are. Um, I have all the ingredients for the filling ready and people use different things. Some people use say cubed sirloin or cubed um, beef, but we've, uh, I grew up using ground beef and I found I like to use say an 80-20 or a ground chuck. Just a little, that little bit of fat is good for the moisture in the pasty. If you do use a lean ground beef, then I would say to add some butter, like a little piece of butter on the top of each pasty for moisture. So I'm going to take, um, I have all of our ingredients. I have, I have Yukon gold potatoes. Um, my mom used russets a lot and peeled them, um, but I tend to, to love these Yukons. Um, now and you don't have to peel them um my lovely chef yolanda did all this cubing for me nice and small i would say a half inch or smaller and then this is shredded carrots um a pound of so two pounds of yukon golds into the bowl cubed or peeled russets basically two pounds of potatoes is about good and then a pound of carrots shredded this is about eight ounces after shredding. Um, one uh, small onion. This is a Walla Walla sweet onion that's our right, our right now. And then we'll add our ground beef. One and a half pounds of ground beef. And then I have Lori seasoning, kosher salt, and black pepper. And it's about one and a half teaspoons of each. Of, of the kosher salt and the um, lorry seasoning. And if you don't you have a lorry seasoning, you could use a um, maybe some paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit more salt to make that. I bet you could Google the recipe for seasoning salt. And then this is one teaspoon of fine ground black pepper. And this might, my mom never did the amounts. I always have just kind of sprinkled in the seasonings, but I wanted to get you some amounts. And then I, um, I might need a little bit more than that, depending if you have a few more potatoes or so. So now we're just gonna take it and just kind of squish it together. I take my hands and I just squeeze the onion and the, everything right into the all those flavors together. And I love to use this Hobart 
to get the seasonings mixed into the beef and the onions and the carrots, and then I'll toss in the potatoes by hand or all together, and the mixer works great too. So you just want it to become like a beef or yeah, like a ball easily. So that's why I keep going until it. Hand workout. Okay, so there we are. It's kind of mixed nicely. And then I'm going to go and get my crust out of the fridge. Throw my gloves away. And we will take one cup of this filling and put it on our, our crust. All right, so for the, um, I take like a one cup measure and then I pack one mounded cup into the pasty. If you wanted to make smaller, I suppose you could make these into six small pasties or I'm not sure if you could make, yeah, you could do mini versions. So maybe you could make eight mini, but yeah, just a nice big ball. Just kind of press it onto your pasty. make six. We're going to have to do a little bigger than that. All right, so I'm going to, I don't like to get the, the meat all over the outside of the dough. So I like to get all six out, divide the meat up, and then roll my crust around so that your crust doesn't get full of meat. So I'm not sure how, if the camera can show this or not, but I just take the, um, the meat or the, the crust and I just press it around the filling, try to enclose it a little, and then I pull, just kind of roll it around like a little, kind of seal it together like that. This dough is amazing. I've tried other recipes, but this one, it has a lot of water in the crust, maybe more than some would use, and it's so forgiving. It's like very, very nice. So I'll do one more, just kind of rolling these, rolling this around, kind of trying to make it look a little pretty. And then just set it on our baking sheet. And we're just, yeah, like I said, we're doing two for this. This makes sense. And then I have some, we use egg yolk in the crust. So I saved the white and you can add a little bit of water. You want it pretty thin. And I just brush it with that to make it, it's kind of shiny and pretty. It gives a little sheen. And then we'll take our knife and poke a little steam hole on top. And these bake for about 350 in a home oven for about an hour until the potato comes out. You want the potato fully cooked in the inside. So sometimes I'll, to test it, you can just poke the knife after, an hour, after about an hour and sometimes I'll even just poke, kind of pull a little potato out and just make sure it's, um, it's fully cooked. And um, we love to eat these hot um, with, I grew up eating them with ketchup. I grew to like a little bit of sour cream with mine. Some people eat theirs with gravy um, or nothing at all, I suppose, and it'd be good too. Um, but yeah, they freeze beautifully. Um, we just wrap them in foil, and you can reheat them in the oven for about an hour, um, frozen or thawed. I, I suppose it would be less. Sometimes you can, um, for, for speed's sake, you can do the microwave too for four to five minutes. And um, yeah, so this is um, my first, very first cooking show. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I looked nervous because <laughs> I was, <laughs> but thank you. I hope you enjoyed.